Hello and welcome back. That's right. Guess who's back? Uh -huh. We are. We are. It's Dante Felipe. Welcome to another episode of Bet, Bet the House. It is divisional weekend of the playoffs. We only got four games left. So this is a little. This is a very sad part in the football year. Yeah. Because Felipe, I don't know if you know this. This is the final weekend of this season. We're gonna have oh. four games. After that, we just got the two games next week. We just got the one game the following week in the Pro Bowl, and then we got the Super Bowl. Oh, no. We're screwed. We're screwed. So we are here to make you very, very rich with the first episode of 2020. How'd you do over the Christmas break, Dante and Felipe? I spent all my money. Huh? 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 That looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah. This is your yeah, share. That's some, your, share that's some, your share cut some. right there, Bobby Ooh. Jokes. Here's your cut over here. And just throwing money around. Oh, it's going crazy. It's, it's going Christmas crazy. all over oh, again. Oh, yeah. oh, that's how we boy. do it. That's right. Okay, let's start yeah. with our Saturday slate of games. We got the first game of the weekend. The Saturday 3.35 kickoff. That is central time. Okay. That is central time. We got the Vikings taking on the 49ers. A lot of people didn't think the Vikings were going to be here. I didn't either. Oh, everybody watched that Saints game. Yeah, everybody's like, Saints, just mock them. They're going to the next round. Should have had a bye. Well, Prince Saints should have got a bye. Because yeah. if they had a bye, they wouldn't have been out already. And Primo, Cousins. Exactly. Kirk, me and Kirk Cousins and you and Kirk Cousins, as Primo. Vampire Weekend would say, they get it. Um, anyways, anyways, uh, Vikings went in there, shocked the world, upset the Saints yes, uh, last week. In that uh, overtime game, it was a great game. I don't understand what refs. the Saints were doing. I, think, suck. I still think the Vikings clearly outplayed the Saints in that one. I am not sold on them, though. However, I am not sold. I do not think the Vikings are going to win this game. I think the 49ers, they got too many weapons for yeah. them. But this game reminds me, ironically, of that Saints game. Maybe not as high scoring. Maybe not going to be as high scoring. But remember the Saints and the 49ers going back and forth the whole game. Back and forth the whole game. What it comes down to. Field goal at the very end of the game, giving the 49ers the win over the Saints. I think we have a very similar situation that could, uh, could, could unfold in this one on Saturday. I think the 49ers win it. I think the Vikings will be within one possession. Vikings are getting seven points. I'd like that. I'd like to take the seven points, take the Minnesota Vikings. No man on the Minnesota Vikings, right. like Lizzo says. Um, I don't think Kirk Cousins, he's going to be that no man. I don't think, Lizzo, you're going to get your man that way. And and, Cousins... Uh, El Primo, he's out. He's, this, is, this is too big a game for him. I do not see the Vikings winning this one, but I do think they cover. Take Vikings plus seven. What are we going to do? What are we going to do, Felipe? Take out that hammer and just uh, smash. Vikings plus seven over the 40 friggin' Niners. Next game on Saturday night. This is the 7-15 Central mm, Time. Okay, Central. Central Time. 7-15 Central Time kickoff. And it is the... Baltimore Ravens Ooh. taking on the Tennessee Titans. Now, the Oilers. The Oilers. Tennessee the, the, Oilers. The former Oilers. The old Oilers is really what it is. Because we ran the them out Oilers. of our city like the Tennessee Oilers. I don't know if we ran them out of that city. Yeah. They, they willingly got up and left Bud Adams like, see you later. Sayonara. <laughs> that's, that's Bud Adams of Houston right there. But either way, either way, Ravens against the Titans. Titans. Upset Ooh. the Patriots? That was crazy. Patriots? Not that a, was on first, first time in a decade. The Patriots yeah. are not in the divisional round of the playoffs. What? All what? you Patriots fans? Huh? <laughs> I thought the Patriots had that one last yeah, week. I thought they, they did. did. That was my only miss last week on Dante's bets. But oh. either way, either way, either way, Swatter I am not bridge. going to bet against one of these teams. I If I had to, if I had to just pick it, I'm going to say Ravens are probably going to win. Ravens, yeah. Ravens is a Super Bowl favorite. Clearly, they got the MVP in Samuel L. Lamar Jackson. And, um, you know, it's, I, I think that Ravens get this done. I don't know how the score is going to go on this one. I really, I don't know if I'm a little up in the air about how this is going to go, but I do think it's going to be a high-scoring game by at least one team, possibly Ravens. the Ravens. I could see this being a game that the Ravens go in here and just Beat the ever-loving hell out of this Titans team. Titans get that big win. They check the box. Oh, yeah. look at us. We're moving on to the next one. They're just happy to be here. They, 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 they stamp the ticket into the playoffs. They were happy to be there last week. I get it. I get it. You get that upset over the Patriots. Mike Vrabel's old team is the coach. He's coaching the Titans now. He beat his old coach. Oh, he's probably stoked. Probably stoked. This has... This is a casual, like, this is how they, they peaked. They peaked in the postseason. Yeah. Titans are going to go out there. They're going to get their ass beat. I could see that happening. I could see the Ravens hanging, like, 31, 38 on them. It's a 46-and-a-half point line. Ooh. I think 
It's going to be over. I'm going to go over on that. And I'm going to say it could largely be the Baltimore Ravens pushing most of those points. You know, if you yeah. get a 37-14 game here, maybe there's a garbage time touchdown. Ryan Tannehill throws something. Maybe let Marcus Mariota come on in here and get a touchdown at the very end. You know, whatever. Whatever. But I think the Ravens are going to get the win. I'm going to go with the over on the total in this one. 46 and a half. Bet the over on that. We're going to take out your hammer. You what take it you on saying? here. You take it out in here. Yeah. Over 46 and a half on the Ravens yeah. and the Titans. Now, now, now. Let's move on to the Sunday Ooh, slate of games. Sunday, oh, Sunday, you, Sunday. Oh, you Houstonians out there. Oh, this is the game you guys are ready for. Throw you H's you up. You guys are ready for those H's. Uh, I think they got the Chiefs. They got last year's MVP, Patrick Mahomes. Pretty good. Pretty yeah, good. he's good. He's good. People forget, though. Who beat the Chiefs this year? Huh? Texans. Was it? was it Texans? Was it week six? They got that win over the, te- over With the Chiefs. out J.J. Watt. No, J.J. Guess who they got this time? J.J. J.J. Watt. Watt. So this is going to be a tough game if you're yeah. a Bears fan. Because you know the Bears traded up in that draft to get Mitchell the Bitchell Trubisky. Oh. And guess who went after him? Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun friggin' Watson. Connery Watson. Deshaun Connery Watson. Deshaun Connery. What the hell? That's all. It's a new thing we're going to work on here. Everybody Connor, on Deshaun, Connor. Seven, It's going to catch on. It'll catch on. It'll catch on. He was a secret agent there. He was dodging sack. He was dodging sack. Hey. You can sack him this way. You can't sack him this way. Nobody knows how to get Deshaun. I think the Texans march into Kansas City. They've already beaten them in Kansas City yeah. once this year. I, tough to beat a team twice. This is a playoff-ready Chiefs team. Andy Reid's going to have his guys out there. I don't know how you're going to cover Tyreek Hill. I don't think you had Tyreek Hill the last time the Texans played him. I do not think the Texans get the win here. One, Bill wow. O'Brien. Bill O'Brien's not going to a conference Who? championship, I don't think. I mean, butt chin over there. Butt chin over there. Oh, well, John Travolta. Johnny T. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny T. T. Billy, Johnny Billy T. B. Johnny T. Whatever. Who knows? Yeah. Who cares? I do not think the Texans win. The line here, it's Texans getting 10, though. You think the Chiefs are going to win this game by double digits? Now, I said I thought the Ravens game for for Saturday could be a blowout. I do not see this game being a blowout. It better be Texans. I think the Texans will be within the 10. And I'm going to go Texans plus 10 over the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs win outright. I think the Texans, with the points, will push you over. You're going to win this bet. Texans plus 10. You trust the Sean Trust that guy. You trust him to get you within the 10. There we go. Texans plus 10 over the Chiefs. What are we going to do? Take out the hammers. Take it, get, you got your hammer ready? Take it out. Smash! Smash. Texans, Texans win. Plus 10 over the Chiefs. I want Texans, Texans victory. Come I'll on. win this bet. We'll tell you that. I'll win this bet. Oh, okay. You can book that. Take that to the bank. Take it, take it right to the bank. Very right. cool. Our final game of the weekend. Sunday, 540 Central Time. Seahawks at the Packers. Now, this is the most intriguing game of all of them to me. I think the winner of this game gonna go to the Super Bowl to represent the yeah. NFC. I think that is who will come out of the NFC. Oh, Vikings, oh. 49ers. 49ers, I think, are gonna win that game outright. But I don't think the 49ers are going to the Super Bowl. I think it's gonna be either the Seattle Seahawks or the Packers. And I, I gotta be honest with you. I'm a little hit or miss on the Packers this year. I don't yeah. know what they're up to. Sometimes they look really good. Sometimes they suck. What's happening with Aaron Rodgers? Too you know? many discount double checks. Man. Matt LaFleur, yeah. Cram it down your cram hole, LaFleur. Yeah. What are you up to? What's your plans for this? I don't know. I don't know. I think the Packers, though, they scare me. Yeah. They scare me. This is a we- I got a weird feeling. This is one of those feel games. You gotta- I'm going with the Dante feeling. The Dante feel of the week. Mark that right there. Just right there. Dante feel. Of the week, just like that. You guys saw it. You guys saw it. Just like that. Bobby Jones gets it. Either way, Seattle is getting five against the Packers. This was four. Originally, it was Seattle plus two. Moved the line a little bit. Then it was Seattle plus four. Now it's Seattle plus five. I don't know what's going on with this, but I think Seattle. Hear me out. Just hear me out. I think Seattle wins this outright. What? I think Seattle wins this game straight up. Seattle beats the Packers. Seattle will be playing in the NFC Championship next week. Why? I don't know. They're a scrappy team. Wow. They got Marshawn Lynch, Beast Mode back. Skittles. I mean, he's not in a 100% shape. Who's the other guy? They got like Hodges or whatever his name is running around. Homer. It's Homer. Homer? Simpson? Like Homer Simpson. He's Homer Simpson's friend. Homer Bailey, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Homer, the guy from the uh, the Odyssey or whatever it is. Okay. Greek mythology over there. Mm. Uh, yeah, we're getting crazy. As Ricky, deep. You didn't, As deep. Dante knew that. I know. I've been to Greece. I get things. Either way, I think Seahawks win this outright. I'm going to take the five points. Seahawks plus five. You trust Danger Russ 
Wilson to go be dangerous in Green Bay. I think the Seahawks go in there. They're a scrappy team. And this is going to be a close game. Could be an end of the game, who's got the ball last kind of thing. I think the Seahawks get it done. Take the plus five. You win out, right? But then I think the Seahawks go on to the Super Bowl. Seahawks plus five over the Packers. Book it. You're going to win it. You're going to take out that hammer. You're going to smash it. Seahawks plus five over the Packers. Let's just run through our bets for the weekend then real quickly. We got Vikings plus seven over the 49ers. Smash that. Ravens, Titans over 46 and a half. Smash that. Texans plus 10 over the Chiefs. Smash that. And then our final game of the weekend, Seahawks plus five over the Packers. Smash it home. You're going to be a very rich man or woman when you listen to Dante and Felipe. Now, you know what time it is. Parlay! Our final parlay of the year. Of the year. Yeah. I guess of the season. We got another one next year. Season. We'll be back. But you know what? For the season, final parlay of the season. So you know what? Dante's going to be a nice guy because Dante's winning all this money. I want to make you rich. I, mean, I care. Why? Why? Because I care, guys. I care. So what I got? I got the... Double parlay! I said parlay! What? Not one parlay, but two? Two. What are you, crazy Dante? Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? You'll find that. Four-team parlay, number one. Let's get right to it. Obviously, there's only four games. But we can only bet the four teams here. We're going to go with what I think's going to happen. And then we're just going to go with a wild and wacky what could happen parlay that'll get you the real money. Right. Right. This is a $100 pays $569.69. Hilarious. Yeah. $569.69. Since there's two 69s in there for you, gang. Yes. <laughs> I got the 49ers over the Vikings. 49ers minus 300 over the Vikings. Ravens minus 425 over the Titans. Ooh. Chiefs minus 425 over the Texans. And the Seahawks plus 180 over the Packers. 49ers, Ravens, Chiefs, Seahawks. Turn $100 into $569.69. You're going to be very happy. If you're winning this one. Yeah. All right. Now our final parlay of the season. Here we go. This is the wild, wacky, crazy money parlay. You could hear potentially turn $100. Man. One of these bad boys. Please, Benjamin. Dear Lord, baby Jesus. You could turn $100. You got a Benjamin. You throw this on us. $100 turned into $5,000. One hundred and forty-five dollars. This is just a chaos scenario that breaks out on this weekend, and then you know you could be very rich. So you know you could make the five sixty-nine, sixty-nine on the other one, or you could bet them both. And if you win one of them, you win this one especially. You're gold. Oh, you you, bet, you bet both of these. You, you have two hundred dollars. All right. I, that's okay. like what I Worst call case my scenario, tax income. My You're tax returns it. coming in early if you Ex win that one. Exactly. Know? Exactly. You're gonna turn hundred dollars into five thousand one hundred forty-five dollars. How? All right. You're gonna go Vikings. In the upset, should this yep. happen, Vikings plus 250 over the 49ers. You're also going to go Ravens. Ravens aren't going to lose. No. Right? Ravens will not lose. Mark yep. that. I would stake my reputation on that. You're going to go Ravens minus 425 over the Titans. They're not going to lose like I just told you. You're going to go, this is a good case scenario for Houston. Texans, you get me upset in KC. Again, you're beating the Chiefs twice. All right, Texans plus 325 over the Chiefs. And finally, Seahawks again. Plus 180 over the Packers. That's three underdogs. And then the Ravens being the favorite that'll win this weekend. You go Vikings, Ravens, Texans, Seahawks. You could turn $100 into $5,145 with my big money parlay. I just gave you two parlays. What else do you need from me? So, one hey. more time. Ravens, Vikings, Texans, Seahawks. You take out that hammer. You smash those four in the second parlay I just Hold gave up, you. Oh, man. That's you'll a lot of money rich. right there. You'll be filthy. You can retire. You can retire oh, for the rest could, of the year with maybe, that, man. Maybe not the rest of the year. I got. I need more than five thousand dollars to live. Oh man! But you can still be very comfortable. Three hundred dollars. Yeah. Eat ramen noodles for the rest of the year, man. You good, ladies you and good gentlemen? Man. This has been Bet the House for the divisional weekend, and uh, I hope you guys make a lot of money. I hope I know you guys will make a lot of money. Are they gonna make a lot of money? What's the eight ball say? What does the magic eight ball say? Uh, it think? says my sources say no. You know what? It's the wrong What do you know? You're an eight yeah, ball. You're not even real. Yeah, I mean, You're not even real. Don't listen to the eight ball. My sources to say you are going to win. Yeah, my sources say you're an idiot, eight yeah. ball. My sources say you're going to the trash. Yeah, throw them away. Done. Yeah. Done, Ski. All right. You're going to bet the house, guys. You're going to win a lot of money. And we're going to talk to you guys before the AFC and NFC championships. You guys have a fantastic weekend. And always remember to bet the house. Ooh, that's fire.